The first of two final mountain days to determine the final destination of the Maglia Rosa. Just three seconds separating Richard Carapaz from Jai Hindley in second place. 12-man group eventually getting clear. Fernando Gaviria present and darting clear at the first of the intermediate sprints to pick up enough points to put himself in second place in the Maglia Ciclamino, just in case Arno de Mar stumbles on the run into Verona. Kern Baumann was also there in the blue jersey of the King of the Mountains in a breakaway group of no threats to the general classification with Borda Hansgrohe starting to ride in an attempt to bring the 12-man group back. Kern Baumann, though, crested the first three climbs of the day in first place, picking up enough points on the road to effectively close out the possibility of anyone taking the King of the Mountains jersey from him. Then, on the descent of the final climb of the day before the last uh, summit finish, Andrea Vendrami shot across to make it a five-man group on the uh, foothills of the lower slopes. Kuhn Baumann, Mauro Schmidt, Attila Walter, Alessandro Tonelli and Andrea Vendrami. Tonelli attacked, Kuhn Baumann reacted. Meanwhile, behind in the GC group, Richard Carapaz attacked with Jai Hindley reacting, taking Mika Lander with him. In the final 200 metres then, a sprint for the line with Kern Baumann almost coming to blows with Mauro Schmidt on the left-hand turn and heading to the line. Kern Baumann then with the best racing line and Andrea Vedrami and Attila Walter going straight on and out of contention. Tonelli also hampered, uh, but Kern Baumann clapped his hands in the air to celebrate win number two with a frustrated Mauro Schmidt behind him. Tonelli finishing in an excellent third. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. 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 Then shortly after that, the top three in the general classification came to the line with Richard Carapaz, Jai Hindley on his wheel, and then Mikael Landa. And once again, Hindley and Carapaz sprinting for the line and nothing to separate the first three across the line. <laughs> Kern Baumann, though, well, his victory was at once questioned by Mauro Schmidt from Quickstep Alpha Vinyl for this perceived problem here. Mauro Schmidt being forced to break as uh, he disputed that Kern Baumann's line wasn't deviated from in the sprint. That forced Andrea Vandrami and Attila Walter to go straight on, and Baumann went clear to celebrate the win. The commissaires looked at it, and the result stood. Kuhn, one win was not enough. You wanted another one? No, no. After my first victory, I said uh, it would be really nice if I can have another one, but yeah. Uh, then I also said I need to be realistic. That was only my second victory as a pro. Um, yeah, and now, uh, yeah, winning two stages in the Giro, ah, wow, well, just so, so happy, uh, yeah, I, I don't have words. Tell us about this uh, last corner, did you know it? I knew there was a corner to the left, <coughs> but I didn't know it was like this, uh, this sharp, so uh, I had to break quite hard, uh, I knew I had to go uh, and take the inside. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if anybody crashed, I don't hope so. Um, and otherwise I will be sorry for that, but uh, yeah, I'm just really happy. And you have secured the Maliazura. Yeah, that was actually the goal of today. Uh, make sure, uh, yeah, uh, we, we would have the blue jersey at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, that, that is now uh, coming with a stage victory. Yeah, yeah, I cannot believe it. Well done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. An amazing Giro d'Italia for Kern Baumann. Win number two on stage 19. 
by a slender margin to Mara Schmidt in the end to go with his King of the Mountains jersey. But Richard Carapaz, well, it's as you were for the top three in the general classification with everything still to play for.